What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cultist Simulator. Episode 2, we're going to get back into the swing of things. Uh, last episode, we had started to kind of learn what, what it is to form a cult, and now we're just going to kind of delve into a bit more. We had a, a few things like our directions to Moreland's uh, and a possible collaborator, so we're going to expand on that and see where it takes us. So, let's jump right back in here. All right. So we had left off with two health, two passion, two reason. Uh, we are working right now. We're maintaining our funds pretty well. So while we're doing that, let's jump and uh, let's study our directions to Moreland's. The directions to Moreland's shop are cryptic. When one deals in the kind of books my correspondent studied, one must be circumspect. Okay. So we will study that and let's go. You know, I said I wasn't going to use fast forward a bunch, but I'm impatient. So an adversary. There's always someone who doesn't understand, or who understands too well. This troublemaker may seek evidence on my activities to share with the authorities. Ooh, we got a weary detective. Uh, from what I understand, that's probably the best thing you could hope for, but who knows. Uh, okay, so while we're doing that, we have finished work. Got some health. We'll just leave the fatigued one over there. Actually, we will just throw that right into nap time, let that recover. And let's grab us a vitality, a skill, and some funds. Sweet. Okay. So we finished studying the directions to Moreland's shop. An ill-lit street and an ill-favored bend in a lesser river. A soft yellow light through a grimy window. Miss Moreland nods as I enter, but doesn't rise. I never ask the names of my clients, she informs me before I have time to introduce myself. Explorer is unlocked. So we've unlocked a new verb, and we've actually got the shop for Moreland, so that's great. Um, so I'm assuming we can probably get some books there. And this is the new verb that they had talking about, talked about unlocking. Now that I've found a location, I can explore it. And we have an occult scrap. Interesting. Um, what do we got up here? Solitude. Some days are better than others. Sometimes the sky is nothing like a filthy sheet. Sometimes the river run cl runs clear. Contentment. Now I know contentment is something that we can use with uh, painting. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw these vitalities in so that I can get... I um, uh, can't remember what it's called. I can get a thing to work on upgrading health even though I really don't think I need to right now. Uh, and then we are going to, um, how long is our contentment going to last? 60 seconds. So let's throw our passions in here. Let's do some painting and we'll use our contentment as our inspiration. Now, while we're doing that, uh, we're going to lose that glimmering. That's fine. Uh, let's take a look over at Moreland's and maybe we can get, uh, get a book. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Okay, so this isn't just a one-time thing, so we're going to want to keep buying books and hopefully get something that we can use to start founding our cult. Uh, so let's continue on here. Now I believe this one shows up if there's a chance of gaining vitality. And our health has been recovered. Excellent. And we got a vitality, perfect. So we've explored Moreland's. Uh, we're gonna take a look here. I found something noteworthy, a collection of poetry. The poet makes himself a seer by an immense, long, deliberate derangement of all the senses, the opposite of wisdom, thankfully. Study to gain glimmering, lesson learnt, which you may be able to use to increase passion. Okay, cool. So we'll collect that. Uh, I'm going to put this book over here because it is part of passion. Uh, and that doesn't expire. Good. Okay. My recent work was has attracted a couple of callers. With luck, something will sell. So we've got contentment back. More contentment. Ooh, we got some glimmering. Sweet. Uh, we did gain some mystique. And our two exhausted passions that and we got funds so it wasn't uh, completely a bust there and ok 
Okay, let's continue on. So we got our lesson learned for vitality, so that'll last for 300 seconds. Uh, 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 we're working to get some funds again. And let's see. So we shouldn't study this until I've got another lesson learned because otherwise it's going to start expiring. So I don't need to, I don't need to do that. Um, what can I do with my contentment? Perhaps I can use my contentment to strengthen a positive influence. Okay, so I don't really have anything there. So let's study the notes on a potential collaborator. I have a name, a description, a few tantalizing details, but there are a thousand thousand faces in this city. Okay, so we'll check that out and see what we gain there. Mm -hmm. Our passion should be up pretty soon. And, ooh, we've gained a new verb. Excellent. And now I have an address. I'll dispatch a letter and propose a meeting. Talk is unlocked. Huh. I've n never seen it give me a mystique before. It's usually always given me a person. So that is interesting. Can I... Oh, okay. It's probably coming after this. That's why. Okay, we're gonna rest our health. Let's collect some more vitality, our strength, and get some funds. And we're gonna jump right back into work with some health. Because I want to try and build up the funds a little bit. And we'll study the two vitalities to get another lesson learned. Perfect. Let's wait to see what the talk verb does. And we gain some fleeting reminiscence. I still don't understand exactly what fleeting reminiscence does. The reply of your letter is courteous if cautious. They are intrigued by how you found their name. Intrigued enough to meet you. A hanger on. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's talk to our hanger on and see what they say. Here is someone I might work with, a companion or a follower. But first, I must give them something to follow. A society, a sodality, an order, a cult. Ooh, okay. So this is... Uh, let's see, let's open up another verb here. Although I don't know if that one looks to be temporary, maybe. I've begun my true work. The authorities will take an interest in it. I must be ready for them. You've begun to establish your cult. You'll need a little more before you can recruit followers. Okay. So we'll keep the person here. Uh, we'll keep the notoriety next to our detective. Just because that seems to be fitting. And we've got our health back here. And let's just stack our passion back up. Probably going to lose that glimmering, but that's okay. What is this? Choosing founding principles. Tradition and compulsion. Old, new, or both together. Add lore to determine your cult's founding principles. So we can either use the occult scrap or the Watchman's secret. Um, I'm going to go with the Watchman's secret. And see what that does. And we'll get our work stuff back. Oh no, we got an injury. That is no bueno. We got funds, but getting hurt's not good. We don't have vitality to heal it, so we're going to have to use that fun that we just got to heal ourselves up. That sucks. But, say la vie. Uh, we've got our two lessons learnt. So if we use that with our skill, we will gain ourselves one more health. Now, a terrible clarity. Our purpose demands we recognize truths that chill the spirit. I must give of myself. Alright, so we have to use some reason here. And see where this found where this takes us. Oh. A cult with one member is only an unusual habit. I must have a recruit. So we'll take our hanger on and we will recruit them. Alright. We've recovered our health, which is great. And skill is back, as well as a third health. 
So we're gonna jump back into work. We gotta make up some funds there that we definitely missed out on by getting injured. We will grab that fleeting reminiscence. I have founded my cult. This is the step to a greater power. Use your cult to recruit and promote followers. Talk with followers about your cult to send them out on cult business. Okay, so I can take a pawn, this, this person is being deemed, and use them to do culty business for us. All right, and we've also gained temporary headquarters. Our business is private. We could use somewhere more secret. All right, so we're gonna keep locations in the same place. And what is this, Mirror of Glory? An occult society dedicated to the understanding of the light that leaks from a fiercer place. You can use cults with the talk verb to recruit or promote followers and send them out on errands to gather resources. A believer can be promoted to a disciple. A few gifted disciples can be exalted even higher. So I can use cults with the talk verb to recruit or promote. Okay, so it's risky because obviously it's going to gain notoriety is my guess, but that's how you get more people. So that's good to know. Uh, we're going to keep that Oops, down here with the culty business but that is going to do it for this episode of cultist simulator thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it make sure to like comment subscribe so that i know you guys are digging what i'm putting out until the next time we'll see you later Bye bye